Good evening. I'm Perlene Alexander. I reside at Asworth Christian Fellowship. We're doing the seven sayings of Jesus Christ. And I was chosen to do the third word of Jesus Christ. And I want to read the verses and then we'll get into the message. My saying, my uh, reading is coming from John 19 verses 25 through 27. Now you find this saying, uh, woman, behold thy son, is verse 26. John 19, verse 26. But I want to read 25, 26, and 27 because it kind of go in together and it shows the love and the responsibility that Jesus had for his mother. And it reads like this. Behold your mother. Now, this is verse 25. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. 26. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold thy son. 27. Then he said to the disciple whom he loved, which was John, and from that hour that disciple took her to his home. Now, I kind of want to come in on a few of those, um, uh, some nuggets in there for those verses. And just bear with me, and I'm going to read some of them to you, and um, just let you know the compassion that Jesus had, even as he was dying on the cross. He still showed the love for his mother. He still made sure that she was taken care of. You know, when we're going through some things, sometimes we don't think about uh, anybody's well-being. We think about, man, why I'm in this position? I want to get better, or am I going to die? We think about all these different things, but here is a man with so much love that he looked beyond his pain. He looked beyond the things that he was going through, hanging on the cross, dying for our sins he looked beyond all of that and just think he did what was said way back in genesis way back in genesis he did what he was supposed to do he took upon his responsibility and and, and told john there's your mother take her and take care of her and 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 and, and these things come from someone with so much love, so much compassion. Okay, so I'm going to get into reading some of the nuggets that I have. Jesus' third word from the cross to his small band of faithful friends who huddled below his cross, below the, 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 the stool of his cross. You know, when you're looking for friends, when you're going through some things, you can't find them. You can't find your friends anywhere. And there is some time you have a John, though. You have a John that's standing there waiting to see to the end. And oh, don't talk about a mother. A mother's love, when she stands helpless and can't do anything to help her child, no matter what that situation is, she's still going to stand. She's still going to be right there because that's the love that a mother has for her son. Even though they're going through trials and tribulations, and that's what Mary did, and that's what John did. Mary Magdalene did the same. All of them stood right there to the very end. I'm going to talk about how Jesus addressed Mary. Because sometimes we don't look at it like, okay, he addressed her as a woman. Why wouldn't he have addressed her as his mother? 
Well, I'm going to tell you. Jesus addressed his mother, not as mother, but as woman. Translation uh, says, um, dear mother, dear woman. Back in those days, that's how they address women, dear woman. Or a woman, you know, when they spoke to them, they addressed them as woman. And we might sense a closeness in the terms as used in our culture. But in Jesus' culture, it was perfectly okay for a man to address a woman this way. But still know and have the respect as a son to his mother. Even though he addressed her as a woman, he still respect her as his mother. And this reason for uh, uh, them calling a woman uh, is more formally addressed is probably that Jesus intended his words to be understood as a former translation uh, uh, disposition under the Jewish family laws. As Mary firstborn, Jesus is legally responsible for uh, her well-being. Uh, taking care of her, making sure that she's okay. And even on the cross, he did not forget that. He did not forget that. He knew that he had to make sure that she was okay. And that, you know, that she was properly cared for. She was going to have to have food. She was going to have to have a place to stay. She was going to have to uh, make sure that, you know, uh, uh, that she was taken care of. And Jesus entrusted his mother to John's care and John took that instruction very seriously and that's the thing about John John was whom he loved whom Jesus loved and if you can recall back in one of the scriptures Jesus told uh, John told him that I am whom he loved and so he entrusted his mother with John. Out of all the pain and he had endured, he thought about his mother. And in Exodus 20, 12 says, Honor thy father and thy mother. And to the end, to his cross, this was one thing that he didn't forget. And this is what we got to understand. And we got to know that God, said it back there in Exodus and here in Jesus it was within him to obey God's word and to be obedient to God's word even as he hung on the cross even as he hung on the cross bleeding and dying for our sins he thought about his mother he thought about the well being of his mother it's so sad that we can go through different things and sometimes people don't even care about the well-beings of their children. But Jesus knew that he had to make sure that she was taken care of. I say I relate this to my uh, life because I was a mother in pain once, seeing my son going through pain. So I added on a mother's love and a mother's pain. No mother ever wants to see her child hurt or going through any kind of situation. They don't want to see the pain in their children's face. My son was beaten by about 15 to 26 people. And I stood helpless. I could not do anything. Mine was only 45 minutes, maybe. Mary endured it for six hours. So 
So I just want to leave with you that Jesus loved way beyond the cross. He loved his mother enough to make sure that she was taken care of. A mother's love, a mother's pain, a son's love, a son's relationship that he would care enough for his mother on the cross. Thank you. God bless you. And good night.